major step towards normalized relations between the U.S. and Cuba today when the U.S. reopened its embassy in Havana. But despite the new policies, real differences remain. CBS 2's Rick Folbaum is live in Havana with the story. Rick. Well, Dick, I know that this is something that a lot of people in the Cuban-American communities in New York and New Jersey never thought they'd see, maybe never wanted to see, but like it or not, the stars and stripes are flying high above the U.S. Embassy here in Havana. A Castro may still be in power, but there's no denying some things actually do change. of the flag at the U.S. Embassy here in Havana, a sign of diplomacy at work. And it's clear both the U.S. and Cuba are working hard at the process of normalizing relations. It's also clear the two countries still have major differences. The total lifting of the blockade or embargo, as you say, as well as the return of the territory occupied illegally by the Guantanamo Naval Base and the compensation to our people for human and economic damages. Secretary Kerry says this is a process and that there will be hiccups along the way, but that opening mutual embassies is a crucial step. The normalization of relations is not a favor that we do one nation to the other. It's something that we do together because both of our citizens, we have determined, have the ability to be able to benefit from the relationship. At this morning's ceremony, the same three Marines who took down the U.S. flag 54 years ago presented it to a new generation to raise it. New beginnings, fresh hope. Jose Marti once said that everything that divides men is a sin against humanity. Clearly, the events of the past, the harsh words, the provocative and retaliatory actions, the human tragedies all have been a source of deep division that has diminished our common humanity. And after today's official events, Dick, Secretary Kerry met with a group of Cuban dissidents and then took an hour-long stroll around Little Havana, a little hand-to-hand -hand diplomacy. Back to you in the studio. All right, Rick, thanks very much.